I watched game five of the 1969 World Series just to see, you know, what's different. What's the same? What are some oddities? This is brought to you by DraftKings. I'm not really recapping the gameplay here or the skill, just kind of the in-between the game differences, similarities. Like, look at this. A pitcher walking as slow as he possibly can to conserve energy off the mound. That's similar. I've seen that before. Or World Series game, nationally televised, a fan running on the field trying to get a high five from a player. Gets the high five. And then the cops come and say, all right, get out of here. The umps are even helping a little bit. Cops don't tackle them. That's different. Fan celebrates. Got a nice sweater on. Tucked in shirt underneath. That's different. The crowd kind of like, uh, whatever. Found some differences that I knew I was going to see. Way more aggressive baseball. Uh, the rules have changed. And look at this. Uh, bam. Okay. Uh, no one even talked about it. It wasn't even a big deal. They didn't show a replay. No one mentioned it. Just going into second hard to break up the double play. I mean, this was baseball for a really long time. So you had to be careful around the bag. He grabs the ball. Olays him. The dude doesn't slide at all. Just trying to take out the player. And he, he doesn't get mad. Broadcast doesn't say anything. No one cares. That was baseball. I don't really... Need that back in baseball. Didn't seem like it was ever like a necessary part of the sport. It is always jarring to see. Now, this one's even a little more jarring because if this happened today, the guy would be labeled so dirty. Uh, right fielder tries to throw him out at first base with the catcher backing up, which is actually a cool play. You know, a sneak attack. The first baseman's going to the outfield, so no one's covering first, but the catcher is obviously there to back pick him. That's cool. I like that, but just tries to push him off the bag and then pushes his leg. Oh, my God, just, like, bends his knee. Look at the, oh, get out, get off the bag. And then another one. And the ump gives him a little earful. Hey, hey now, hey, now, none of that. None of that. Okay, time. Here's the ball. My bad. A little too aggressive. My bad. So I, I expected to see that. Something I didn't expect to see that I was like, ooh, I don't see that in today's. Look at this ump busting it down the right field line to make the call. Running all the way down there. I feel like the umps these days just turn their head and look. I haven't seen an ump sprint down the right field line in a long time. Joe West, 2018 World Series. Did he sprint? Bobbly head. My favorite thing I noticed watching this game that I wasn't expecting to was all the on-deck batters were on one knee, taking their practice swings while on one knee. It, everyone. Like, maybe one or two weren't, but majority were on one knee, and you don't see this anymore. And I wonder when it stopped. Did it fade out? Was there just one guy still on one knee, you know, in, like, 1979? had to be taught were they trying to get a better view of the pitches coming in conserving energy i really don't know maybe we got to do a deep dive on when did on deck batters start standing up but that was weird every single batter was on one knee and speaking of batters boog Powell swing won me over like i am a boog pal swing fan look at that and look at the pause at the end and then kind of like a uh, boom and for you at home that's a 27 year old man in his prime about just had the best season of his career, and he's about to top it next year. Second in MVP, first in MVP in 1970, and look at those swings and misses. It's a thing of beauty. It looks like this scene looks like a 1980s sitcom, and then they say, uh, oh, back in my old playing days, and then they flash back, and these are all the actors, you know, playing baseball. That's <laughs> such a big swing. Uh, he actually had a great postseason, a great year, and that's the hit he got in this game. All those big swings, and the hit he gets is on this uh, beep check swing. So that was thoroughly entertaining to watch Boog Powell swing and miss, or just swing in general. Later on in the game, we got ourselves a breakdown situation. I was like, ooh, this is fun. Frank Robinson's up. Guy behind him puts his sunglasses on. 1,377 RBIs in his 14 years in the majors. Fouls the first pitch back. Blue grabs a ball, throws it back to pitch. Blue at shortstop, wandering around, just looking around. 0-1 pitch. Check swing. Doesn't matter. Strike, says the umpire. Gets some guff from the dugout. Says, whatever. Shut up about it. Now Robinson's down 0-2, and, and the Orioles are about to lose the game and lose the World Series, and that one hits him in the leg, and the umpire says, no, foul tip. Foul tip, he says, no, hit me in the leg. They ask him, ask him, hit me in the leg. And this is something we still see, is umpires being told to ask for help from someone who probably had a different or better view, and the umpire being like, nah, I got it. I saw it. Why would I ask for another person's opinion? You want me to do everything I can to get the call right? No. I saw it. Earl Weaver, I think he got ejected earlier in the series. He's like, come on. Hey, come on. Just ask him. You got to ask him. 
ask him. And he's like, uh, no. He's like, ah, oh, well, ask somebody. And the umpire is just saying, no, I'm not. Now Frank's getting in his face, and Earl's like, hey, 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 Frank, back up. Like, I came out here so you wouldn't get ejected. You got to stop yelling. I'm the one that's on the front lines now. You're supposed to be behind. Just get out of here. And Earl's like, come on. What are you doing? Why don't you ask somebody? It hit him in the leg, you know? He's like, well, what, 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 what? it didn't hit him in the leg. Hit him in the bat. He says, uh, no, no, it got him smack in the leg. Come on. You can't see that? Now Frank Robinson's going to leave, right? And that's odd. He just walks away. Where did he go? Weaver also leaves. He goes to the dugout, but he's still barking. He's upset. He's going to walk down the steps. He's going to turn right, right in the leg. Smack in the leg. Come on. And then the umpire must be barking back because Weaver's just saying, like, uh, what I said. What I said. Huh? What I said. Uh, yeah. In the leg. Well, you asked. Huh? You asked. And then the umpire says, hey, well, where did Frank go? He's still up. I called foul tip. He's not out. And he's like, well, I don't know. I'll go see. I don't know if Frank Robinson thought he got called out like swing and miss or he just went to go check on his leg to prove a point. But he left. He's in the dugout. Everyone's got to wait for him to get back. And Earl Weavers checks on him. He says, all right. He's like, uh, comes, <laughs> walks back out, turns the balloon. He says, he's coming back out. I hit him right. He's checking on his leg. I hit him in the leg. The ball you said didn't hit him leg, and now Frank Robinson comes out, his shirt's undone. I don't know. Just a little piss break. Uh, maybe he thought he struck out, or he was trying to, like, prove a point. Like, it'd be funny if he came back and had a bruise or, like, the mark. He's like, I'll show you the laces. Anyway, comes back out, fouls the ball back, stays alive, takes a curveball high, one and two, another curveball, kind of the same pitch, called strike three, now he's done. And then the inning flips, and we have a similar situation where a ball goes in the dirt and the uh, batter on the Mets says, that hit me in the foot. Umpire says, no, it didn't. He's not it hit me in the foot. Go check. Wait, you don't think that hit me in the foot? Yogi Bear is like, hmm, what's going on here? And then what happens is the Mets bring out the ball and they're like, the shoe polish. You don't see the shoe polish anymore. You hear legends about it. This doesn't really happen anymore. No, the shoe polish on the ball. And the um says, oh, yeah, you're right. There is shoe polish on this ball. What if it wasn't even the same ball? Like, if I go back, did that ball get discarded? Let me see where this ball goes. It goes into the dugout. So what if the Mets just have a shoe polish ball on hand at all times? That um isn't positive it's the same exact ball. Oh, that's hilarious. I wonder if they did that. Because the coach just brings a ball out, and he's like, oh, yeah, this has shoe polish on it. It did hit him in the foot. That could have been any ball. He didn't keep it. He can keep tabs on that ball. Weaver comes out and he's like, so you listen to them? They get a second opinion? You change it? And then you can see the umpires say, say he showed me the ball. Yeah. He showed me the ball. He showed me the ball. Well, it could have been any ball. And he's like, there's shoe polish on this ball. Weaver's like, what are you talking about? Pitcher gets real in his face, you know, stern finger point, let him know something. And Weaver, once again, is like hearing his player talk and like, well, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm the one that is supposed to get ejected, man. Get back on the mound, McNally. Huh? Hit a home run in this game, McNally. How about that? And then Weaver's like, this is bullshit. You know? Why, if, uh, should Frank have come out and shown you the laces on his leg? Would you have changed the call? Maybe, that's, maybe Frank was doing it. Maybe that was smart. The last thing I loved about going through this footage was this fan, woo, who brought a bajillion fans back to your nest, bird. Cloud nine. Bye-bye, birdies. Out of sight. How many s signs did he bring? Is he a plant by the network? A lot of bird signs. And some of them aren't even that great. So there you go. That's the 1969 World Series oddities, familiarities, and all in between. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring these breakdowns. I appreciate them as always. Maybe I'll do some more going through old footage and pointing out the weird shit if you guys enjoy it. Let me know.